Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And okay, news from the White House is okay. Wait, so Julia Smith said, oh maybe the numbers weren't quite so accurate. Oh, why well, guess so. <laughs> okay, so some of it's subject to interpretation. No, I'm not laughing at the numbers or how they're interpreting it. But just remember, they're subject to interpretation. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And <laughs> it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. They said that uh, here, they said the Congress of the United States has such a low rating that they're, they're going to throw all the Republicans out. And then they come back, but the Democrats have decided to run on, on the strength of Obamacare uh, because the same reason they're not going to throw the Republicans out is because there's a 95% return rate of incumbents in the, in the House of Representatives, which means that most people are there until they decide to retire. There's 35 open seats to all Democrats. The 35 open seats are going to be ran against Obamacare mm -hmm. and against the President. And those, that, okay, they said the Rep Democrats, here's a good one, Republicans are finished and they, it was a determination by the Democratic National Committee that the Democrats are going to lose seats in the House and probably lose the Senate. So they're now basically trying to hold their own in left-wing areas. And, and they're giving up on areas that they can't. They said, well, you want to call the President of the United States the N-word, go ahead, because, you know, we're not going to stop you because we're not going to win these seats unless we can convince people we don't believe in the President. So. <laughs> and Obama tells every one of his followers, you will now get a free medical checkup Every year under Obamacare. Well, under Obamacare, it's, uh, it's demanded under Obamacare. You have to have an examination. But here's the trick is, here's what B.S. the Bull said. He said, you go, you get in your car or you get on whatever it is, you go to the doctor's office. You walk through the door and sit down at the, at wherever you're going to sit down. That's the free part. Once you go through the doctor's doors, then you get charged for everything that's done inside. But you can always just show up at a doctor's office. And you don't get charged um, until they, they I know, but he, he uh, okay, the president basically... Oh, yeah, that was the free medical check. Yeah, they said, the, it's another thing, they said, everything that they do at the White House is wrong. They said, under no circumstances should he have said something else. That was, once again, they said, uh, here, here's the thing is, one of the guys said, I went there with Bush and Jay Leno last night, he said, I'm going to do something. Everything the president says is a lie. We now know everything that he says is a lie, yet he continues to tell lies and everybody knows he's lying. And he said that somewhere along the line, they're going to have to tell the emperor he doesn't have any clothes on because he continues to do it. This guy, he said, he said I realize the pre they say the president is really built, but I don't think he needs to show it off continually. Well, talking about showing off, the pre President Obama's selfie backfires. Oh yeah, he, uh, it was one of the most disgraceful appearances ever by an American politician. Okay, this By this, any world leader. No, but this was, any, it was wrong for what was done. The British are pissed off at Cameron. The Danes are pissed off at their leader. But Obama thought it would, okay, he said Obama treated uh, Mandela, remember Mandela was a communist, but he wasn't, uh, he wasn't, a, he didn't love Muslims, and Obama loves Muslims, so therefore he basically oh. treated this black man with a contempt that he treets other people with. He threw me, I'm here because they made me come. I don't really give a He damn. certainly knew how to uh, make it backfire. He probably would have been better off not showing up. Uh, I know, but he did it because he, he felt it was necessary. Okay, the great big thing that there was, a, there was only people, not leaders from 90 countries in the world, 90, all of them, almost all of them socialists, none of them, very, virtually no Muslims, the Jews didn't show up. Muslims didn't better. show up? No. No. Because he didn't like the Muslim people. Oh, and the Jewish people didn't show up? The Jews sent a, a token ambassador. Remember, the communists do not get along well with Muslims. They've been fighting them for years in the Soviet Union. Oh, and I saw that the Dalai Lama didn't go because it might offend China. Yeah. So they blocked the visa instead of not extending it. <laughs> because uh, he, uh, if you were a socialist, you basically ended up, like socialists or communists, you went to the thing, so. Mm. In California, seeks to send water south via tunnel restored depleted delta. Yeah, which means to do that, they have to take water from the San Joaquin Valley, which belongs to the San Joaquin Valley, and shift it to 
uh, this, uh, to elsewhere. Remember, this is not Southern California's water. This is San Joaquin Valley's water. They what? Paid, that system was paid for to bring water to the agricultural to the, of the yeah. United States. But they want the, the environment. Remember, we have a, a bunch of Democrats in control that are environmentalists. They're anti-business. Almost all of the farms in San Joaquin Valley are business farms. They're not little farms. So, no, they are so business farms. We're going to take the money from. We're going to take the water from those people, greedy people, and 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 make and do a beautification product in Southern or in California. Oh, because they have the people in Southern California have more voters. It had nothing to do with voters. It's just the elected officials who decided that. Uh, okay, put it this way. Um, Gary Brown and the President of the United States proudly the other day went and showed how the uh, how the about how the the trend of going to healthier foods is overwhelming all of the the restaurants in this nation. They were pointing out, well, McDonald's is green thing is work and bringing in record amounts of money. This and this, all of these all these initiatives for healthy food are working. Um, let's put it this way. They said the reason why the companies are showing higher revenue isn't because people are buying merchandise. They raised the prices on their merchandise by 2.4% and they're showing a gross revenue of 2.5% on an average. So it's just a little, it, a it, fraction. It's a fraction. No, virtually no one is buying their stuff. Oh, and, and then of course they went so healthy they all think, what was one of the more popular additions this year? Bacon? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and, uh, but um, we've seen it, okay, bacon is unhealthy for you, but, oh, what this B.S. the Bull said, guess who likes bacon? Ah. Michelle Obama. Oh, she does? She loves bacon. And guess what is allowed in all of these restaurant oh. menus, even though it is totally unhealthy for you, is bacon. Bacon burgers, bacon this, bacon that, bacon everything. Bacon is the worst possible thing you can have. But she likes it. If she likes it, it's approved. I'm glad because I like bacon. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't like ice cream, so. That's oh, right. Be at the Bull said, ice cream is back on the menu since Obama got in trouble with Obamacare. On the, on the, on the, you know, but it's not only no longer hid, they've got pictures on walls now showing <laughs> ice cream is back on the menu. <laughs> and you are now better off if you lose your doctor because they were part of an inferior health care plan. I know. I mean, they, they, I, I heard saw last night one of the big reporters, I mean, George Stephanopoulos, uh, he's just going, uh, you realize you've insulted every doctor in the country? I know. That, uh, that uh, what it says, what they're going to do, because you're going to have, the government is going to decide which are the best doctors for you and which are the best hospitals for you. You will naturally have better, better medical care than you did when you had a doctor that basically was looking after your best wishes in a hospital of which you could get into and get medical treatment immediately. Then now we're, we're there's basically, that like the one guy, what he said, in other words, the government knows more than the doctors. Well, we have doctors advising us. They said, name me one. He just wanted to name, okay, what it is, they got this system that if the Republicans don't put a, a, a dagger through it in a, next year, cannot be changed, which basically allows the federal government to decide all your medical care, all of it. Mm. So that was no, that you know that was going bye bye with Obama on the run. And record a low t record low temperature recorded in Antarctica, scientists. And B.S. the bull says, uh, that's a dumb movement. That's, that follows the statement said, we have record high temperatures in Antarctica and it's all melting. And then the very next sentence, we've had the lowest temperatures that we have had in decades. Mm -hmm. uh, the article before, we have record te high temperatures which are melting the ice, followed by, we have the coldest temperatures in the last century. Mm -hmm. um, does that sound... Wall. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And Democrats using new power to tilt appeals court. Oh yeah, they're uh, yesterday they uh, they just appointed you know they just uh, you know without even need of any Republican votes, all the Democrats appointed people to basically change the financial system, and they're appointing judges to change the system. And then uh, I saw Bert, like Evan Bayh and Dennis Cassini, some other Democrats that are in office. He said you, they're going to get it. They said just they know. 
the Republicans are going to take the House and they're going to take they're going to take the House and the Senate with a enough majority to basically undo anything Obama's done, and they're simply going to uh, say that what the president, what the Democrats did, was not legal. And they're going to throw out every single appointee that this man's put in office, cram down people. Because they can do it because they're in control then, and Obama can't undo it. He cannot veto anything, so this passed legislation removing all these people from office because it was a violation of the... Of the, it, it, the filibuster is 60 votes. It is not 51. It is 60. It is written in the rules. It is 60. And, and Harry Reid and the Democrats for to save Obama's rear and to get judges appointed that will just delay things. You know, like uh, you know, like they said, that we know that the Democrats are in such bad shape that they're going to shift it into economic, anything that they can shift it into to protect this president, at least for another few months, and if things continue to go bad. There's a, they said the odds are there's a 75% chance he will be impeached, and, a, and right now, as of yesterday, a 10% chance he will resign within the next six months. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubble is from Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this has got to be, this one's, I'm taking one from Mark Twain because I heard this this morning. He said, uh, he said that when everybody knows you're lying, if you're going to lie, you might as well make it as big a whopper as you can make it instead of making it a little lie. 